And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video we have got a bit of an action packed one for you today, quite a weird one actually to be fair, as you can read there in the titles, a massive Trent Alexander-Arnold news, we've got a bit of a uh, twist with regards to Alisson, um, of, of course it does seem as though he's picked up in its shock injury according to Arne Slot, um, and then of course we're going to be discussing some other little Liverpool news within the space. Um, but, you know, let's start, of course, with the press conference. Uh, Arne Slot was an early one this morning uh, ahead of the game against Bournemouth. Uh, but basically, Slot has revealed that uh, surprising news for Alisson is that he is a doubt uh, ahead of the Liverpool clash with Bournemouth as Kelleher waits in the wings. As stated, Alisson has played every minute of every game so far this season, including against AC Milan in midweek, but could now miss Saturday's 3pm kick. Off. This comes due to a tight hamstring with Slot giving the shock news in his pre-match press conference on Friday. Allison is still a doubt if he can train today, so let's wait if we can train, he told reporters at the XA Training Centre. If he can't, he probably won't play as well. Slot added he has a slight issue with one of his muscles, and I wonder if this game is coming too early or not. I think he didn't take the time for the Milan game. It happened a bit before, but after he felt more and more. Now we have to wait and see if he's ready to be in goal tomorrow, or we have to wait a few extra days. Um, so, again, look, Kelleher um, is, a, is a decent, very, very good backup. Of a decent, I was about to say decent. He's a very, very good backup. Um, and to be fair, I have no doubts when he's actually called upon um, to be the goalkeeper for us. Uh, but, you know, Alisson, always injured. I've never met, I've seen a goalkeeper in my life that gets injured so much. He's the best in the world. But my goodness me, the guy always is injured. He, he just stands there. Anyway, I didn't stand there. But you know what I mean. Um, he's always injured for a goalkeeper. I've never seen anyone get injured so much um, than him, of course. Now, yes, Today I do need to rubbish something. Of course, there was like a bit of this thing about Martin Zou, Mendy, us in you know the usual YouTube channels uh, talk about the um, the transfer rumor. Not true. It wasn't true at all. Um, complete made up nonsense about Zubi Mendy coming in January. Um, not sure where that that came from, but guys. Don't really listen to too much transfer news when it comes to sort of January. Uh, oh, sorry, I mean now. Then in January, we literally just came out of the September window. We'll see. Wait and see what happens. End of the January transfer window and next summer for that matter. But right now, you know, listen, I don't think uh, there's anything too crazy within that space at this moment in time. And uh, Martin Zubimendi, uh, certainly I will not uh, be warranting that story. Now, moving on, guys, slightly. Now, there must have been some shock news come out this morning with regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, some of you may have been eating your cornflakes this morning and seen it. And basically, L'Equipe, who are, you know, a very good source out in France. It's basically, um, you know, 7 million followers on X. Uh, and they stated that Trent Alexander-Arnold wants to buy FC Nantes and has submitted a bid to purchase the club. A bid is apparently worth 140 million euros. Uh, this is apparently with his English investment fund managed by his father. Trent wants to become the new owner of FC Nantes. Um, again, look, listen, that's been said there. Um, with regards to that situation. However, James Pierce of The Athletic have, has kind of came out and rubbished that straight away and said that this is not true and Trent Alexander-Arnold is not going to be buying FC Nantes. Um, so yeah, a bit of a conflicting one there, but I thought I would bring it to you regardless it's massive news in general. You know, you don't really hear every day that your player uh, could potentially buy a football club and what, what a story to just make up by Le Quip. And um, they're a very, very good source. Course, but what a, what a story to just come out with that Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to be buying FC Nantes. Uh, and basically, as stated there, guys, um, James Pierce of The Athletic has said that is not true. He's been told that that is not true in the Liverpool space. So... Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that in terms of that situation. Uh, but that's kind of, look, all I've uh, kind of got for you on that kind of news. But of course, I haven't really given my thoughts and opinion um, from the AC Milan game. And I haven't really given you my thoughts ahead of the game against Bournemouth. Now, the game against Bournemouth is obviously going to be a, a massive game for us. Look, we weren't expecting to lose the Nottingham Forest at home in the Premier League. But it also shows that... Um, maybe we, we're not the complete package that maybe we not thought we were, but like, you know, we were starting to, to go off. We felt like pretty confident the way we were tactically in games. Um, but 
you know, is this going to be a problem for us to break down these sort of low blocks? Will Bournemouth use the same sort of dark arts against us in the game this week? So this weekend, it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to be able to counter that and come up with the answers that we didn't have against Nottingham Forest. And hopefully this time around, we will get uh, all three points against Bournemouth because it's a massive game. We can't be losing another one or dropping more points in that one. Look, I don't even know where our expectations are for the season. Genuinely, I don't know where our expectations are and what, what supporters are. I think everyone I ask... Um, has a different opinion on where you want to finish or where we're going to finish or what our expectations are for the rest of the season. Um, but what I would say is, uh, yeah, most certainly, um, you know, we can't be losing another or dropping points, especially against the so-called lower teams, regardless of us being in, in a transitional phase. Now, we, we responded perfectly against AC Milan. I thought AC Milan, um, a good opposition. Uh, I think they, they won their game 4-0 in, in the Serie A last weekend. So, um Again, bounce back after a bit of a shaky start. I wouldn't say shaky, just a bit poor. But after we worked out their threat, uh, we pretty much nullified everything and went on to dominate the game. And I thought we were really, really excellent. Um, so, yeah, no, genuinely, I, I do think... Um, the AC Milan game was a perfect response from that. And sometimes that's when you what you would have been asking for. That's what you've been waiting for as a, as a Liverpool fan, going, right, how are we going to respond to this situation? How are we going to uh, respond to that? How are we going to... How are we going to react after our first defeat? And I think we, we responded uh, the best possible way, and that was a complete domination against one of uh, Europeans' biggest clubs. Um but again, now it's about going to that Premier League now and, and then seeing what we're all about. And I'm, I'm always interested to see with Arne Slot just how we're going to be taking taking care of this game. And hopefully, as stated, we can we can get the job done against Bournemouth and, and make sure that we get all three points at a bare minimum. Uh, because those first three games of the Premier League season were, were amazing uh, and they were really, really good, especially the Brentford and the Man United game. Uh, but again, we want to go on another little bit of a winning run now and, and keep momentum going. So, yeah, uh, Liverpool fans, that's kind of all I've really got for you today. Not going to lie. Uh, but some interesting news there in regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold that came out from one of France's biggest publicists saying that he wanted to buy FC Nantes for 140 million euros. James Pearce of The Athletic has rubbished it and been told by Liverpool sources that's not true. Um, Alisson is obviously a doubt for this weekend. It looks like Kelleher could be in goal, but Again, I don't think most Liverpool fans are that worried about the goalkeeping position. I think, you know, Keller has a great backup for us. I never really put a foot wrong. So, yeah, that brings us to the end of today's video. Guys, as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you do check out our um, merchandise. The link is down in the description, or go to copyclothing.com. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.